Football shame. Another Collingwood fan captured shouting racist remarks. Fears a missing father of two may have met with foul play. Banning the bookies. The PM blows the whistle on live betting odds during sports broadcasts. A kayaker rescued after nine hours adrift. And the push to change Southern Cross station's name back to Spencer Street. This is Nine News with Alicia Loxley. Good evening. More racial abuse from another Collingwood fan has been captured on video, vilifying Sydney's Adam Goods and Lewis Jetta during Friday night's game. As Dougal Beatty reports, the tirade was within earshot of young children. In the upper level of the southern stand, the ugly side of football has again been exposed. And 19.02. When we return, a new emotional anti-smoking campaign launched. A young zookeeper mauled to death. And stunning in Scotland, the Queen's striking new portrait. Melbourne's public transport yes, menace. Everyone here really uncomfortable. On Nine News, the alarming rate of anti-social behaviour on our trains and trams. Chroming, drug abuse, foul language. It's distressing. What we have now is substandard. How safe do you feel? Nine News tomorrow at 6. Police are investigating a car explosion in Bentley. Occupants of a house in Bignall Road awoke to loud bangs and came out to see smoke billowing from the vehicle. They contacted the emergency services and after the emergency services arrived they realised that, uh, that uh, the uh, vehicle had been deliberately lit. The cause of the fire is unknown. New research has found the cost of cigarettes is forcing many people to quit. A confronting television campaign will air in Victoria tonight, warning people about the dangers of smoking. Vicky Jardim reports. It depicts a man in his final tender moments. I asked my sweetheart what life... A book marking the monarch's milestone. Well, sport is next with Clint Stanaway. Thanks very much, Alicia. Tonight, out west, the demons plunge further into crisis. Also, another slip-up and more heartbreak for the ruse. Buddy gets the blues before flexing some muscle. And a leap of faith off a French fortress. News viewers, here's your chance to win a trip to Sydney for the Holden State of Origin Game 1. We'll fly you and a friend to Sydney, put you up at the star and drive you to the game. We'll even throw in a star voucher worth $400. For your chance to win, watch 9 News tomorrow at 6. Good evening. There's more heartbreak for North Melbourne tonight. The Roos' wretched run in tight matches continuing against Adelaide. The Crows charged home, snatching a one-point victory in the last minute. The only time they'd lead all match. Corey Norris has the highlights. Top eight aspirants desperate to make their charge up the ladder. It had all the makings to be a cracker. 27 and a half metres. Incredible pictures. That's sport, Alicia. That is courage indeed. All right, thank you very much, Clint. The weather is next and there could be some showers in the morning. This weather report brought to you by Holden Colorado Truck. Get serious. Think Colorado. Think Holden. Cloudy skies prevailed today, but virtually no rainfall in the city. We managed a top of just 16 around 2 o'clock after a low of 11. Cool and mostly dry around the suburbs. You just don't have your husband. And the moment he was found. You're amazing. You are amazing. That's tonight at 7.30 on 60 Minutes. Back to you, Alicia. And that is Nine News for this Sunday. I hope you have a great evening for now. Good night.